Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here to bring you another video. In my last review, I reviewed the Azul Access Plus and I talked about its abilities to serve as a Steam in-home streaming PC. If you wanna check that video out, the link will be in the eye in the top right corner. And in this video, we're going to showcase and see if it works really well as a Steam in-home streaming device and if it's worth your hard-earned money. So let's talk about it. What is Steam in-home streaming? What is it exactly? Well, in simple terms, it's a game streaming service that allows you to run a Steam game of your choice on your higher end machine, let's say like my personal rig behind me, and stream an H.264 video signal over your network to a host machine. In our case today, the Access Plus. Doing so allows the host machine to not have to have crazy good hardware in it to be able to play games and have a great experience. However, some of the requirements for Steam in-home streaming is a good internet connection if you intend on using wireless with the host PC, which I'm using in this scenario only because my current networking setup is a work in progress. If at all possible, I would run a wired connection to the host PC. Now that you're all set up, all you need to do is sign into Steam on both machines and you're pretty much connected. Once you go into your library, you'll get the option to stream games from your actual library installed on the main PC to the host PC. Steam in-home streaming, while not perfect, is an awesome concept. Having a PC in your living room with a couch keyboard and mouse setup or even an Xbox controller setup, while not having to build a super high-end home theater PC, really makes a lot of sense in the gaming market. Over wireless with a decent connection speed and a wireless router, I actually got playable results playing titles like Doom and Borderlands 2 over Steam and home streaming from my bed was a pretty enjoyable experience. It was wireless, so I did experience some slight stutters and inconsistencies, but nonetheless, it's a pass in my book. The Atom chip built onto the Access Plus is plenty powerful for the H.264 decoding that is needed to display the image, and the onboard wireless and LAN solution make it a solid value. While we're on the subject of Azul Pro, Products, we can also see a place for the remote like the link when it comes to Steam and home streaming. Playing board game titles on your couch in your living room with family or point and click adventure titles with the built in air mouse on something like the link really makes this a really compelling bundle for a pretty decent price. But enough about Azul, let's talk about some alternative options that you could go with. If you have an older PC lying around with a decent CPU and a decent network interface, you could use something like that for a home streaming PC. Even load up something like SteamOS on it, which I'll be making a video on soon of a very affordable Steam box, which will be coming really shortly. And you can just load up SteamOS and do some Steam in home streaming from that. But the offerings from Azul once again get my stamp of approval for being Steam streaming ready with the right hookups and horsepower to be able to have an enjoyable experience using Steam in home streaming. If you're interested, you can actually buy the Access Plus and Link remote in the description down below. So that about wraps things up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and also join our Discord community. Links are always in the description down below. I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.